Hello everybody, welcome to another video of Crossover. Today we are going to be talking about underestimating the devil and yeah, we're, we're just not going to waste any time. We're going to hop straight into the first verse. And the first verse that we have is 1 Peter chapter 5, excuse me, verse 8. It says, stay alert, watch out for your enemy or for your great enemy, the devil. He prowls around like a roaring lion, looking for someone to devour. Now, main thing that I want to say is there are so many things that want to downplay the devil. Make the devil seem like he was born yesterday and he doesn't know anything. And I want to tell you that underestimating the devil and thinking that he won't be able to do anything to you is a lie. Now, it is true that the devil is weak compared to God. It's true that the devil is under our feet. You know, that's true. But don't think that just because he's under our feet means that he can't get up from under our feet. Now, he will try to do that. He has been here since before the earth was created. And he knows the Bible way more than us. He knows the whole Bible. But everything that he knows, he twisted into his own kind of way. He twists the Bible and says the verses that will kind of justify his um, justify his motive, and which his motive is to, you know, destroy people's lives and just absolutely wreak havoc on people. And the devil likes to lie, of course. And what the devil will do is he'll take these verses from the Bible and he'll subtly change them or use them in a different context than it actually is. Now, we as Christians are supposed to refute that with more knowledge on the Bible and telling him that, no, this is actually what it means. You know, this is the context behind that verse. You know, and the devil will try these things and he's been using these tactics he's been using these plans for years for thousands of years since the world began he's been using these same tactics over and over again and it's not like he needs to change them he doesn't need to change them because they work now i don't want to turn this video into a whole video just talking about the devil and stuff you know but what i want to get across to you is not to underestimate the devil. Because when you underestimate the devil, when you underestimate anybody, let's say you go into a boxing ring and you underestimate your enemy or the person that you're fighting. What happens? You let your guard down. You don't do as good as you would against someone who you know is better than you. When you hear that you're going up against the world champion in UFC and you're about to go and fight this person, you want to make sure that you are bringing your A-game, that you are bringing everything that you have to the table. Now, let's say you go against someone that is new to UFC and new, new to fighting. What happens? You underestimate them and you don't do the best that you can because you know, oh, this is going to be easy. But then what happens if they eventually end up beating you? It's shameful. <laughs> and that's the same with the devil. You do not want to underestimate him. He's been using these tactics for thousands of years since the earth has been created. He's been using these same tactics and they work. Now, we as Christians need to not underestimate the devil and know, yes, he is under our feet. But don't let our guard down. Don't 
think is that just because we know God, that God is going to always protect us just because. You know, yes, God will protect us, don't get me wrong, but we need to do our part in putting on the full armor of God. Now, that full armor of God, we need to put that on ourselves. God can't just go and go, here you go, you know, here's the, the helmet, here's everything that you need, you know, here's the helmet, here's the chest plate, here's the shield, here's the sword, you know, God isn't going to do that. God wants us to arm ourselves against the devil. Now, as I said, when we underestimate the devil, we let our guard down. And when we let our guard down, it is so much easier for the devil to attack us and to get to us. As I said, the devil has been using these tactics for years. Literally since the earth has began. It started with Eve. He started using these tactics and they work. It doesn't matter how spiritual you are. It doesn't matter how close you are to God. If you underestimate the devil, you are going to put your guard down thinking that he isn't going to do anything. Oh, the devil is weak. The devil is stupid. You know, the devil can't do anything. And that's true. But don't let your guard down. Don't bring down your guard thinking that the devil isn't going to attack you. Because he will attack you. He will attack you with everything that he knows will work for you. Because the devil knows you. The devil knows how you work. The devil knows everything. Not everything, everything. But he knows enough to attack you with a certain tactic that he knows will work if you have your guard down. Now, we as Christians need to put on that full armor of God and always be prepared with our guard up. We always have to be ready. And that can mean by prayer. That can mean by talking to God. We need to keep our guard up because the second we bring down our guard, that is when the devil is going to try to attack. And now the devil likes to use... As I said in the beginning, he likes to take verses and kind of twist the words very subtly so that you, as a Christian, are hearing it, but it is this subtle change that's just making you think, you know, this doesn't really sound right, depending on how much and how well you know the Bible. You know, if you hear something that the devil has twisted, you are going to think, hold on, that does not sound right. There's something off about that. You may not figure it out instantly, because as I said, the devil knows the Bible really well. Because he once was an angel. The devil knows the Bible really well, and he is going to twist the words around so subtly that it is going to be difficult to spot the change, but we as Christians who read the Bible constantly are going to kind of detect, like, okay, there's something off about that. There's something, something different. You know, it doesn't sound right. It doesn't sound like God. And you're right, because it's the devil that's using this verse and twisting it. Now... With all that being said, Josiah, would you like to give us the verse of this week? The verse of this week is from James chapter 4, verse 7. So humble yourselves before God, resist the devil, and he will flee from you. It is saying to stick with God, don't let your guard down, and the devil is going to flee from you. Yeah. Now, if any of this touched you in any way, you'd like to give your life to God, Maybe you want to get closer to God and you want to know his word so that you can be prepared for an attack like that. Or maybe you need help not letting your guard down. You can ask God for that too. Now, if you'd like to give your life to God, then we're going to give an opportunity right now for anybody that would like to. So, if you want to, then say this prayer with us. Dear Lord, 
I thank you for all that you've done. I thank you for the good and the bad, because I know that everything works for your good. Dear Lord, I pray that you watch over me throughout my days. I pray that you give me your strength and you help me keep my guard up. Dear Lord, I thank you again for everything that you've done, good and the bad, because I know that everything works for your good. And I pray that you give me that you give me your Holy Spirit. And dear Lord, I believe that you sent your Son Jesus Christ to die on the cross for my sins. In Jesus' name, Amen. Now, have you said that prayer? Congratulations! Welcome to the family of God. And yeah, like, subscribe, share this video, do all that to stay up to date with everything that we're doing. And I think that's pretty much it. So, um, yeah, we'll see you guys in the next video. Have a wonderful, blessed, incredible evening, night, day, whatever it is for you. And yeah, goodbye.